Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello students I am Prashant and in this video we are going to solve a question of electrical machines from gate 2019 पूरे इलेक्ट्रिकल के पेपर में आप ऐसे कह सकते हो कि यही एक ऐसा क्वेश्चन है जो आपको सोचने को थोड़ा मजबूर कर दे सो लेट इज लुक इन टू द्वेश्चन वॉट इट इज द पैरामीटर ऑफ इक्वल सर्किट ऑफ ए थ्री वेज इंडक्शन मोटर एफेक्टेड बाई रेड्यूसिंग आर्मिस वोल्टेज एट रेटेड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज ऑप्शन ए रोटर रेसिस्टेंस ऑप्शन बी मैग्नेटाइजिंग रिएक्टेंस ऑप्शन सी रोटर लीकेज रिएक्टेंस एंड ऑप्शन डी स्टेट रिएक्टेंस so let us first draw the equivalent circuit of a three phase induction motor the per phase equivalent circuit of a three phase induction motor let us look into that therefore it has some primary resistance resistance of the stator and uh, reactance of the stator and the magnetizing branch magnetizing reactance in parallel with the core loss component indicated by this resistance and this is the reactance sorry the resistance r2 dash rotor resistance referred to primary rotor winding resistance referred to primary all these terms you must know these are very important rotor winding resistance referred to the stator side and this is the winding resistance of stator and this is the winding resistance of the winding react uh, the air gap leakage reactance of the stator and this is the air gap leakage reactance of the rotor side referred to prime uh, referred to stator side and this is the resistance which ref which represents the power developed that is r2 dash into 1 by s minus 1 the power developed component is being given by this right r2 dash into 1 by s minus 1 therefore this is where we apply the voltage we let us say this is v the terminal voltage and this is magnetizing reactance and this is core loss component of resistance so see here uh, we'll look into the first option later that is the rotor re rotor resistance we'll deal about it later but see about magnetizing reactance magnetizing reactance is purely dependent upon the magnetic circuit the magnetic circuit of the machine right therefore magnetizing reactance is not affected by if we if we just reduce increase or reduce the voltage the current through the magnetizing reactance that is the magnetizing current varies but magnetizing reactance remains the same and the core loss component this rc this resistance also remains the same but if we increase or decrease the voltage what happens to the uh, what happens here is the current through this just differs right and this r1 is the winding resistance winding resistance is the physical property of the winding and this is not going to depend on voltage and this j times of x1 leakage reactance leakage reactance on the stator side it is completely depending on what it is completely depending on the frequency the frequency of the input as well as uh, yes this is nothing but you can write it as j times of omega l1 this is this reactance is going to depend on the frequency and this inductance is going to depending uh, depend upon the physical construction of the machine so how well is it able to link with the rotor the, how well the stator is able to link with the rotor that is uh, that decides l1 therefore this is also not going to change with respect to voltage as well as this reactance is not going to change with respect to the voltage so the only factor which is going to vary with respect if we vary the voltage if we reduce the voltage is nothing but this how is this varying so just add these two the effective resistance that is the rotor resistance is simply r2 dash upon s 
the rotor resistance refer referred to stator side is R2 dash upon S. This is going to vary if voltage is varied. This is going to depend on voltage. So let us just justify how this is going to depend on voltage. So the torque speed characteristics you already know. The torque speed characteristics of a synchronous machine at rated voltage, let us say, are like this. Sorry, of an induction machine at rated voltage are just like this. So these are the characteristics at V rated. And let us say this is running fine at some load like this. So what I have done is, you know, the torque expression, torque is nothing but 3 upon omega s multiplied by v square into r2 dash upon s divided by r2 dash upon s whole square plus x2 dash whole square. This is the expression for torque. Therefore, you can say the torque is directly dependent on this voltage. The torque is dependent on what? Torque is proportional to voltage square. If we decrease the voltage, what happens to the torque? Torque decreases. But the synchronous speed, is it going to change? That is purely dependent on frequency. The synchronous speed remains the same. Therefore, if I am varying the voltage, what happens is the characteristics, if I reduce the voltage, because of reduced voltage, the characteristics of synchronous machine are going to change somewhat like this. So, I am calling it as characteristics at V reduced, voltage reduced, right? Before, when I did not reduce the voltage, the slip is, the speed is somewhere here. Rotor speed is NR and this is the synchronous speed. So, if you calculate the slip, slip is nothing but the difference between these two. This is the slip. So, after, after reducing the voltage, what happened to the slip? Just look here. The operating point shifted to here. Previously, the operating point was this and the new operating point is this. Therefore, NR dash, let us say. So, this is the new rotor speed. So, the slip now has increased. This is S dash. So, what happens is, if I'm increasing, if I'm decreasing the voltage, if I'm decreasing the voltage, voltage when decreased, what happens to the slip is, slip increases. Voltage of many decrease kiya, to slip ka kya ho gaya? Slip increase ho gaya. Slip increase ho gaya, to rotor resistance rotor resistance that is R2 by S. Ye kya ho jayega? R2 is depending on S. Slip decrease ho gaya, sorry, slip increase ho gaya. So rotor resistance kya ho jayega? Rotor resistance bad jayega. Therefore, rotor resistance increases. Therefore, the only parameter that is going to change is nothing but rotor resistance and the appropriate option for this question is option A. Therefore, the correct answer for this question is option A. All the other factors are independent of voltage except the rotor resistance. Yehi cheez hum log speed control of induction machines mein padte hain jab voltage ko, armature voltage ko control karke, control karke jab speed control karte hain. So, just by decreasing the armature voltage, we can get lower speeds lower speeds lower than the rated speed right so this is how we achieve but is a drawback we have to learn as as we decrease the voltage what happens to the current current through the motor increases current increase is just because the rotor resistance has decreased rotor resistance decrease on a current current jo hai, bad gaya hai. therefore you can straight away conclude the only uh, the correct option for this question is option a Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.